Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are once again continuing with the landing challenges. Up next is the Orlando landing challenge, part of the world update called the Nordics World Update that was released two years ago. And today we are doing the uh, Stockholm Orlando is a basically usually an airport for low cost carriers like Ryanair and Wizz Air. I'm oh, not sorry, Ryanair, Wizz Air uses Stockholm Sasta, but also other airlines. Uh, but Stockholm Orlando is a major international airport located in the town of Morsta, 20 nautical miles north of the Swedish capital of Stockholm. The airport is the largest and busiest in the country. Okay, never mind. This is the biggest. Uh, so Stockholm is a uh, more uh, central airport that's closer to Stockholm because this one isn't that close to Stockholm. While the street runways and it's surrounded by a low swaths of forest and farmland. After flying on your base leg for just under 3 nautical miles, turn right and keep on, on your glide scope until you connect with the 10,786 foot long one way. And this will be my first time flying the 747 in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm pretty sure. Here you can see what we are doing. Which I'm looking forward to this one because Orlando obviously is a well-known airport. So I know, uh, I was getting confused because I thought there was a third airport, uh, airport in Stockholm. But there's Orlando, there's Sasta, Skasta, and uh, there might be no one other one, but Orlando is the main one, clearly. Let's see how it goes with the 747. Hopefully not too badly, but sure we will see. We never know. Cool. This one obviously because it's big. It's in stock. It's you know bigger airports and take a bit longer to load. Yeah, quite a big speed descent. Obviously here the, the right turn is just to align with the uh, ILS. You'll find most times. Yeah, uh, you know, when I used to play this game when I was younger, you fly straight lines, but like you realize actually most of the time you don't fly straight lines and the approaches you you usually have to do a turn because obviously flight patterns and rules. Okay, um the thing about this is I haven't a clue which way we are meant to be going. So, um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Haven't a clue where the turn is. Where Orlando is, I don't know. turn here anyway. We're gonna have to use our mouse link to see if our flaps are fully attracted. We don't have four flaps just yet. Okay, there is the runway. Okay, I think we've overshot this a bit. No, I think it's... Which runway are we meant to line up with? I haven't a clue. Okay, airspeed, where is our airspeed? We're 170 knots, we need to be slower than that. We need to be at 140 on the final. We're way too high at the moment. Okay, cool. So kind of weird flying a 747 because these planes are obviously something of the, essentially of the past. Okay, a little bit too fast, so toggle the speed brake there. We're also a bit too high. Our gear is down. Okay, yeah, we need a speed brake. We're way too high. I think we have the flaps to fall anyway. Wow, this airport is quite big. Okay. We can disable this now. Ah, now we're at the perfect altitude. Which it doesn't feel like we're at the right altitude, but apparently we are. 
still way too fast. This is going to be a Ryanair landing. It's going to be very harsh. Yeah, that, uh, we were way too fast there, as you could tell. So, let's try it out again, but we're not going to have enough runway, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, obviously the 747, because it's such a big aircraft, you need to anticipate these things much further in advance. Um, what am I using as a guide? So basically it's this little swamp thing that's meant to be where we turn. Just realize this uh, flight show, flight stick is greased up. So it's here, we're meant to turn. Is that my altitude or is that my airspeed? I think that is my airspeed. I don't know my landing gear is down already. This runway is it? I'm confused now because it is this runway. Because in the in the picture, this is it's over this leg we're turning. It's a little bit too fast though. Is there any replay of this? No, there isn't. Right. I need to remember how to, yeah, I don't think, I think it's the other one, right? This one is a bit too, uh... Oh, I think I'm going to use the boat. These speed brakes aren't, uh, really doing what they should be. Yeah, because this way, one way is clearly shorter. that runway shoot it's the other runway but we'll just land here anyway for the crack you have landed in the wrong run on the wrong one way well the picture there wasn't ideal So yeah, we were in the wrong runway, exactly. So, cool. I have to say, flying this 747 is always an easy aircraft to fly. Well, so I guess that's going back to what I said in one of the previous videos, is that uh, someone said that the flying the Boeing 7, pilot says flying the Boeings is much more like flying a real plane than the Airbus, because the Airbus is obviously much more technologically advanced in some senses. Compared to the 747, because the 747 is obviously a lot older technology. Yeah, 
Okay, so I think the issue was actually turned out to be the issue. Oh. I think the issue was actually turned out to be this trap thing. This one, yeah, I don't know what this open this other trap was. There see, 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 seems to be some sort of auto trouble that activates. There we go. It's telling me it's going to activate. There we go. Five hundred. A little bit too low now, though. There's a stall warning. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we are very low. Imagine being on that road and seeing a 747 so low. We can't even see the puppy lights properly. That shows there's a, one of the landmarks in Sweden. I've seen an attraction somewhere, like you know, uh, it's like I don't know where from the like, postcards or something like it's like it strikes you as oh yeah. That wasn't actually that was a fairly decent landing. Oh, this uh, I should be using the reverse trust, but I just don't know what to put up for the reverse trust for this. So, folks, there you have it. Is this even working? Why is this not slowing down? You have arrived on another on-time flight. Yeah, we, we really did all that runway, didn't we? My engines weren't even on idle. Ta-da! I mean, not too bad. So yeah, folks, that was the Stockholm Orlando. Um, let's retry really it one more time, just for fun. Hopefully it works out better. Oh, well, that's not what we were, what we were doing. Just <laughs> as they let the plane land itself, and uh, like you know, while I'm pushing the yoke down. Okay, um, don't know why it's pushing down so much like this. Adjusting the engine edge, it should be like this. No. This is not a flight by flight. Oh, it's just this. Using 
the road right here. Yeah, we are way too low. Put me back in my seat, please. Oh boy, this is annoying. There we go. Okay, um... Okay, cool. Set a bit too fast here now. Oh no. I definitely, yeah, we'll start left. Oh, there's the thing telling us that my mind will go away. Okay, let's just retry that, but yeah, uh, okay, let's take a look at this. I think the airspeed, so it's the airspeed here. Yeah, I think the big here issue is the airspeed, like the wind's fairly calm. Okay, cool. Uh, and also, let's not get distracted taking screenshots. Because this one, the other part is deactivated. Why does it keep doing that? I don't understand. Who keeps activating the uh the throttle? I'm not telling it to increase the throttle, but something is. Caution, what's the caution? Okay, cool. You always can hear if the trouble is increasing. Now it's increasing again for some reason. Does this have an MCAS system I don't know about? Like an add this tall system or just. Aha, uh -huh, so that green thing is the roadway. So we're aligned with the roadway. Start flipping. Okay, we're still too low. It was still too low. Although there's also no airplanes in the nearby. I think now we're on two should be fine. We'll have seven flaps. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the 747. Oh 
like they're doing the false fifth lobby. Yeah, you would not want to be on this plane. If it was landing now. Too fast. That was a big bounce, wasn't it? Cool. So, folks, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, I think that's fairly, you know, that's yeah. Uh yeah. I don't really know what to say here. But yeah. Bye for now.